Hey, this is Adrian, and welcome to season two of Shop Stops with Simplicity Creations. Episode number one, we head into Electric Express Audio in Princess Stop. Let's go! Electric Express Audio. Let's go inside and talk to the owner. Let's go. Good day, Mr. Russell. Good day, sir. Right, so this is the owner of Electric Express Audio. He will introduce himself. Hello, I am Russell Jabohan, the owner of Electric Express Audio, located in Princeton. Right, Russell. So, how long are you doing car audio? Right? I've been doing car audio publicly for the last four years, but privately, they say in total, about seven years. Ago. Seven years? Yeah. Right. Do you care to shape the, the age to the general public? I am going to be 23 years old this year. 23 years. So, Russell, let's talk music. Long time, man. Yeah. Long time. If I can drive. <laughs> So, what did the passion into choosing car audio? Since I was small, going to school, I was in organ music with school band, playing drums. I was in Lapin Man. First Lapin Man, so sea soul band. True. Okay. Yeah, we used to play in Penance, Perrier's all over. Trinidad and stuff. So, yes. Yeah, even international, sometimes we went away. Um, I think it was curious, and we went in 2014. I was in Trinidad and today. Nice. I don't, I don't know what that said about you. <laughs> Right, so Russell, what services you offer to the public bank? Besides car audio, installation, and some of our box fabrications, we, at this very location, own BTS number 72, inspection station, registered to inspect the light T vehicles and private vehicles. Right. And besides that, um, I went to UTT, studied electrical and electronic engineering, and I also dabbled in the field of house electrical. From lighting installation, the average plugs, the solar, the camera installation, we do all that electrical. Solar. Nice. So, right. so what products is used? What is it go to? Of course, electrical audio, wires, subs, everything. Even up to the speakers. It's simple, it's cost effective, and it always gets the job done. Better the customer as well. Most customers come for it, and even if we don't have them stuck and they bring other products, they're always willing to install what they bring to us. That's the basic thing of being a good installer. You could be able to work with any product at hand now. That's true. Right, so let me go through, take you around the shop, show me what you have here. Let's give you a little, huh? Okay, over here is. It's not much, but it's a test bench where we test all our fires and speakers before we start in someone's car okay, right. to make sure it's working perfectly so we don't have any faults after installation. Okay. So there's a test bench here? Yeah, a test bench. Nice. A nice little test bench here. Right. Yeah, some of the enclosures we built and um, have used them. And what are them are for sale if anyone is interested. Okay. Yeah. Um, on this show is most of our products, our accessories, electra, distribution block, fuel solar, RCs, the SMD we use to set games and detect distortion. Okay. Right. And what we're going on with the trophies. What are the accomplishments of achieving those trophies out there? 
since since um the spirit of coronavirus, there were very limited car shows and turn that. Um, I took the opportunity to take part in each and every event I could find. Um, some of these were for first place in SPL and some of them, and one of them is first place in base race. Right, and um, we have a long on this table, you know, this looking like we'll be assembling the boxes and things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, most of them are coffee, you know, let us look at down here. Um, final cutting on down to the boxes are here. One of the um, cutting on in the box side to avoid dust inside. Yeah, so inside you do the insulation and all that? Yeah, sometimes. So, like, if not big and small and big vehicles, you have to remain overnight and stuff. They can bring it aside, they have close the door so it's safe and protected. And there's something I show we can finish every one day. We just do it in the ramp down there because it has more breeze and stuff oh. where people can feel more comfortable and have chairs and everything down there. Alright. So right, there's electric express audio down in Princess Tom. Right, so Russell, all the people contacting you, eh? Oh, um, we are readily available to reply to messages on Facebook at Electric Express or on IG at electro.run. Uh, my phone number is 36442288. And what's the address? Full address. Full address, we are located at 648 St. Cross Road, the Lenguard Village, Prentice So, Russell, I agree to show us the procedure of how the inspection takes place in the inspection week. Come, on, Russell, take it away. Alright, follow me. So as you can see this asphalt area here, right? It is a brake testing area where people enter through that gate and after, after coming car park and talking to us and explain if they want to inspect what they came here for, we send them this asphalt, test the brakes, park light, reverse light, everything possible they could check them. And after we go onto the ramp. Very important. Those tires put there so we're gonna run into the wall. Oh, <laughs> serious? Yeah. Like people running the wall, wall already? Yeah. People, bridges feel and remembering. Oh, right. Yeah. right. And over here is the insulation bit as well as inspection bit. People come over the pits to go in time, check out all the ends, everything that necessary, steering rack, with no oil leaks, come out. And then once you're part of the section, you come to this window, you pay. You're more than $300, and um, we follow the paperwork and give you a certificate and sticker. So, this is episode one now of season two. <laughs> Shop Stops, we don't have Princess Town, Electric Express Audio. We out. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh, the way that things have been. Oh, Right on the pole, where the few that looked at me, took to me, shook to me, feel